we are entering into another chapter it's a continuation of what we have learned in the previous chapters we were talking about how formation of company take place and in that formation we have learned about subscription of capital that means the financial resources required for a company without the finance we cannot think of running a company or without finance no business will be able to move forward so in this chapter we will be discussing about the finance business finance and different sources of business finance so we are entering into a new chapter sources of business finance now we have to understand what is the meaning of business finance before that we have to understand that without finance no business firm can work no business firm can work so we have to say that finance is the life blood of business finance is the life blood of business because without finance nothing is going to happen in the business not no business activity is going to happen likewise without the blood the human being cannot exist without business finance the activities in a business firm is very troublesome to happen without finance nothing is going to happen so here we have to understand what is the meaning of business finance business finance means the requirement of funds by business to carry out business activity or the funds which are required for carrying out the business activities can be termed as business finance what are the funds required for carrying out business activity that funds are called as business finance and business finance is required for each and every activity inside organization it can be for purchase of land can be for purchase of machinery can be for purchase of raw material it can be for uh, installing a machine it can be for calling a, a repair man it can be for uh, keeping things on stock inventory management anything 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 it can be for, for purchasing oil which is required for running a machine anything it can be for paying salaries such a lot of things are there so for all these things we require finance and these requirements can be of two types or financial needs of business can be we have already learned in the previous chapter the requirements of business finance can be for two basic things one is fixed capital requirement and another one is working capital requirement for your understanding fixed capital requirement are those amount which is required for investing into fixed assets for your easy understanding the money the capital the business finance which we are require which we requires for purchase or invest into fixed assets or in other words we can say the money the finance which we are using for investing for a long term for a long term we can call it by the name fixed capital requirement it will be giving its benefit out after only a longer period we can reap the benefit out of that investment after a longer period we have to purchase a land it's a fixed capital requirement we have to purchase a machinery it's a fixed capital requirement so that amount of money that portion of money which is invested in the fixed assets of a firm we call it by the name fixed capital requirement that is one type of financial need of business another one is working capital requirement working capital requirement is for investment for short term or in other words we can say it is investing into current assets or in other way we can say that it is the amount of money which we are investing for the day to day activities of the firm so that is what is called working capital requirement fixed capital requirement will will give us benefit after a longer time whereas working capital requirement is required for carrying out day to day activities so these are the two types of requirements of finance in a 
business firm. Now, we are going to see about the sources of one requirement is fixed capital requirement and working capital requirement from where we can get it, the sources from where we can raise. It can be classified on three bases, different bases are there, but for our requirement we are learning about three bases of classification of source of fund. The sources from where we are going to raise the business finance required for fixed capital requirement and working capital requirement, the sources, there are different sources and it can be classified, it can be classified on various criteria, but we are considering only three criteria. The sources of fund can be classified on the basis of time period, period basis, it can be classified on the basis of ownership basis, it can be classified on the basis of source of generation source of generation basis. So, these are the three bases which we can adopt to classify the source of fund from where we are getting. And in period basis, on the basis of period, it can be classified into three. Sources of fund can be classified on three bases and the first basis is on the basis of time period. On the basis of time period, we can classify it as short term, medium term and long term. Short term sources, long term sources and medium term sources. In short term sources, those are sources where, uh, what to say, it is less than one year. The sources from which where we can raise funds for less than one year. Within one year, we have to give back to that sources on the basis of that short term sources. It can be trade credit, uh, commercial, commercial paper, uh, bank loans, etc. All these things are what to say short term sources of finance. Long term sources of finance are for required for more than one year or such from such kind of sources we raise for more than 5 years or so that will fetch us capital for more than 5 years. Uh, long term loans, equity shares, retained earnings, debentures, such kind of sources are termed as long term sources. So, it will be for a period more than 5 years and in between short term and long term there is a medium term source, there are some medium term sources. Medium term sources are, are giving us finance for more than one year, but less than five year. So, such kind of sources are called as medium term sources. Loan from banks, public deposits, lease financing, such kind of things are considered as a medium term sources. So, on the basis of period, time period, sources of finance can be short term sources, medium term sources and long term sources. Now, coming on to the basis of ownership, on the basis of ownership, the sources of fund can be classified into two. One is owner's fund and another one is borrowed fund. What is owner's fund? Fund provided by owners of the enterprise, fund provided by owners of the enterprise. Basically, only two sources are there in owner's fund. One is equity share capital, equity shares and another one is retained earnings, equity shares and retained earnings. These are owners fund because it is given by the owners of the company, by the owners of the company or those who are contributing into equity shares become owners of the company. And borrowed fund are fund raised through loans and borrowings, any kind of borrowings, any kind of loans it contribute to borrowed fund on the basis of ownership classification as owners fund and borrowed fund. Those are the sources. And now on the basis of source of generation, on the basis of source of generation, on the basis of source of generation, it is internal sources and external sources, internal sources and external sources. The name itself says, Internal sources are those sources of fund 
that are generated from within the business that are generated from within the business so from within the business when they are getting for example retained earnings equity shares because it is from within the business owners is giving or uh, what to say retained earnings is taken from the profit made by the business so it is from within the business they are getting internal sources whereas external sources are those sources which are outside the business which are from outside the business uh, loan from banks uh, public deposits uh, debentures all these things are kind of borrowings or it is from somebody outside the organization it is from outside the organization so it is classified as internal source on the source of generation it is internal and external so we have seen what is the meaning of business finance we have seen what are the kind of requirements of business finance fixed capital requirement and working capital requirement and we have seen the classification of sources of funds on three bases one is on the basis of time period one is on the basis of ownership and the third one is based on on the basis of source of generation